with me. What's up guys, thank you for watching. Out in New York City today, I'm in the East Village. Just hit the gym over in Soho. Came right here. I'm gonna be getting my hair styled by a celebrity hairstylist today. His name is Benjamin Thigpen. I wanted to bring you guys along and vlog this because I know a lot of you have been requesting some men's grooming videos and thought it'd be cool to pick his brain. Have us get some tips and tricks on how to maintain your hair, how to keep it healthy, and uh, for you ladies out there, any man in your life, you're trying to, you know, have a little impact on how he does his hair. I think that's an awesome thing because we all know we want to make our ladies happy. So I wanted to take you guys along. Let's go. What's up, man? Good. It's good, bud. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Good. Have a seat. So I was told to keep my hair dry, and that's why you're looking at this squirrel on top of my head right now. Right, Ben, you didn't want me to be, you know, having any product in my head before I came here, because that's easier for you as a hairstylist. Yeah, I want to see how you do it. It needs to be all natural. This was definitely not how I do it, but this is exactly what happens when I get out of the shower. I become Curls McGee. Anytime I come in the ocean, and anytime I've been that's somewhere... That's a styling product right there, is what, the ocean. I guess, because the salt water. What does it do? It just like tenses the hair? How does that work? But it's almost like all that salt is creating a product on itself. Really? So it's, that's why some women, some women that have like, they want that like sort of beachy wave. Spray some salt water in Yeah, that's why they actually made that salt water product, but there's nothing that beats the actual ocean. I can't tell you the last time that I actually used like, like a brush or a comb for my hair. I usually just always use my hands. Yeah, sometimes that's the way to go. The best thing is sometimes if, you're, if you do get a little unruly in the very front hairline, right? You can fix that easy just by blow drying the front hairline. Like, I'm like this hair definitely gets unruly. Take like Willy Wonka. Much. I said good day. Good day. Just take this much uh -huh. and blow dry the front so you get more of a clean hairline. Okay. And then the rest, you just take a dryer and you just pull through. I see a lot of people use uh, hair dryers with product. And yeah, I feel like that that's relaxes, the way to go because relaxes the, heat, the, hair more. the heat is basically making that product work. I don't think a lot of people know that. I think a lot of guys are so scared. I don't know if it's like they're, uh, they're nervous to use their girlfriend's hair dryer. Because they actually knew how it works and, relaxes and how easy and fast it is. How much faster than actually waiting for your hair to dry. Or for sure. For you guys out there that go to the gym a lot and you put your uh, hair in a hat. Or if you're someone who avidly wears a hat all the time with your outfits and stuff like that. Um, I was curious about this question because this is something that I feel like I've heard through the grapevine throughout like my whole life that if you wear a hat too much, it's not good for your hair. I think you that's more of a hair. myth. I think it's more of a myth. Um, if that's the case, we always have a pro gain out there <laughs> for us to use. For us to use. No, God, please, no, no, no! You definitely want your scalp to breathe. You need your hair follicles to breathe. Is it good to do your hair and then put a hat on? Yeah, to kind of keep it as warm. styling, as a styling technique. Wearing a hat, it smushes down the hair. It also causes your, your scalp to like produce oil. That's so, something I've done for a long time, at least with uh, putting product on my hair and then throwing like a beanie on. Because I wear beanies a lot, even in the summer. Doing your hair just sometimes is like a process. So throwing a beanie on or some type of hat just to keep my hair full with the product on it. Throw heat on top of it, which will be faster so you don't have to wear the beanie if it's like 100 degrees out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you ever see like people that have like different size like combs and stuff, a lot of people, I don't know why, but you see like the difference in how thin right. this one is. Okay. So it's a closer fade. Oh, uh, so it's kind of like the same concept. 
Yeah. So basically you're fading me with scissors right now instead of buzzers. That's right. What I wanted to ask you too is every time I feel like I've used shampoo, it dries my hair out. Alright, so this is a good, good, good question. Here's the thing. You shouldn't be washing your hair every single day. I know you work out a lot, but I gotta go to Robert Pattinson wrap and just let the oil build up for like months. Two months. No washing your hair. So all I did was every single time I worked out, I would use a conditioning rinse. I literally just put conditioner in my hair, rinse it out. So at least it smelled good. Then I throw on a hat or something. So right. I always smell good. Did that for two months. My hair looked the best it ever looked. Much appreciated. The tips, the tricks. He's a man. Thank you, Benjamin. Yeah, Absolutely. big fan. See you guys. He's amazing. All right, so that does it for this men's grooming vlog. My experience with Ben, I was happy he was able to share some tips and find out some new stuff about how to keep my hair healthy and some things I already knew, like putting on a beanie after you do your hair to keep it formed, conditioning and shampooing. You don't really need to do that all the time because the natural oils that build up in your hair are good. Also faded my hair with scissors and a comb. Usually I get that done with buzzers at the barber shop, so I thought that was cool. Thanks for coming along in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Brett Cap. So that does it for an Kind of working with Benjamin getting some Speed racer. Speed racer. All right. Speed. All right, so that.